let's get right into it hello 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 and welcome back to another uh recap of rupaul's drag race season 15 what is this episode 5 what did they call it the fashion house down boots um also the podcast is back so go listen to it anyways okay so um so for this episode i went up with a mini challenge yay we got a mini challenge and it's the reading challenge the reading challenges are some of my favorite parts about the drag race I... now this reading challenge was it, it was decent it was pretty good i wish that we would have had more time to hear more of the jokes that the girls did. Lucy LaDuca ended up winning the reading challenge and I was okay with that. Everyone did pretty okay. Um, even the ones that flopped, it was still a pretty good moment. Uh, but also we only got like one joke per queen minus Lucy and like one other queen got to tell we heard two jokes from them. Lucy, you know, congratulations, whatever. So let's get on into the main challenge. So they had fashion houses, right? House of Cressley, a House of Matthews, and a House of Visage. The House of Cressley was a lot of lumberjack, plaid. Um, it was more of a, 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 a masculine type of room. Then in the House of Matthews, it was very, uh, very tropical, very Palm Beach, bright colors, uh, you know, um, you, you know, plant patterns and stuff like that. And then, of course, the House of Visage was giving very Jersey girl, lots of, you know, leopard prints and, and purples, you know, like tacky chic, yeah, like well, the, all the things that you think about when you think of a Jersey girl. I think I would have, honestly, I think I would have gone with the House of Cressley or Matthews. I think I could have made it work with the House of Visage, but I'm not really, I'm not an animal print gal. I'm just not, I'm just not, oh no, oh no. One of the cute moment, moments when the girls are going through the house and they're picking out their fabrics and stuff, Spice is taking a knife and cutting the pillow open. And his teammates are like, man, what you doing? And they were like, there's a zipper and he was like oh and I just thought that was cute and funny because I, I could totally see myself doing that <laughs> once again here we are you got a bunch of queens saying I don't know how to sew I've never made anything why are we still season 15 showing up to drag race not knowing how to sew knowing good and daggone well there's going to be at least one challenge where you're going to have to sew Mary, the House of Visage. Okay, this was a pretty strong group, even though it wasn't uh, the aesthetic doesn't necessarily fit. I love that I'm saying I'm not really an animal print girl as I wear a shirt with animal. <laughs> Lux came out. Man, that fabric that was flowing behind, I was like, yes. Lux could go all the way. It's still kind of too early to tell, but I could see it. Mistress looked good the proportions were right the mug was right the hair was right um poor amethyst was also in this group and unfortunately amethyst went home this was her third time in the bottom she didn't know how to sew lux tried to help her um she was tripping all over up and down that garment whatever spice was also in that group it was a cute look it was safe it wasn't bad i didn't hate it i, I actually quite liked the look it was it was simple it was very spice and then we had Aura. Um, Aura was Aura. It, it, it was fine. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best, obviously. And also, what is it with the girls this season? The tights aren't matching the body. I don't really remember a season. I don't. Did they change the lights at the studio? Like their tights. It, for me, a lot of them who were showing a lot of leg, which was most of them, obviously, it was really taking me out of the illusion because the tights were such a different color from the body. And I didn't understand. I don't like what, like what is going on? So then we have the House of Cressley. The House of Cressley as a whole, it was cute. Um, Selena Estetes was the other one who was in the bottom with Amethyst. I, um... 
Selena's look was fine. I like the the idea of having this comforter cape, but I feel like something just like a little bit more needed needed to be done to the comforter to really elevate it and to really make it fashion. It was either Monet or Naomi who said maybe the reveal could have been sooner. And I was like, yeah, I agree. But man, in that lip sync, the lip sync, that was a, one of the more entertaining lip syncs that we've seen. It was finally giving me what needs to be gave in a lip sync. I want more from um, from Robin Fierce. I, you know, the look was cute, but I keep forgetting about her. She's a very pretty girl. The mug is always right. The hair is right. But I'm not, I don't, I don't know if it's because it's just hard to give everybody screen time. But Robin is not giving me winner yet. Anitra is kind of. Like, she's doing well, but she did so good in that opening week, which isn't that how it always goes. She did so good with the talent show and the things and this and that. I, I just, I don't know. And then, Jax, I didn't like that wig. And why are we still not wearing boobs? Why are you wearing hip pads and you're not going to wear a boob? I don't get it. Then the last group, we have the House of Matthews. It was a cute group also. But... I think the standout for me in House of Matthews, I really like Marsha, Marsha, Marsha's look. It was cute. We're seeing more color from her. She's definitely adding more makeup. She's taking the notes about we need more mug. I think that it was it was very cute. I actually I could see myself wearing something like that. Now Lucy, I, I'm hearing mixed opinions about Lucy. I didn't mind Lucy's look that much. It was a, it was very, it was more of a, a mature look, if you will, but, you know, what's wrong with mature? Not everybody wants to be naked like Sasha Colby. Now, Sasha, look, beautiful, beautiful gal. Of course, she has body, but it's bulk body. I'm just more impressed by the queens who, who pad and, and make and create the silhouette and, and create the illusion because you you have that body out of drag so you just did make i mean but then you get into what's the definition of drag you know what i mean and i, I and everybody a lot of people really loved her makeup i wasn't crazy about the makeup i i feel like this was it was too dark the contour was it was too much it was way it was i i didn't like all that i didn't like it and it was very reminiscent of what her daughter wore on her season, her her drag daughter, Carrie Colby. I, I just everybody keeps putting Sasha as a front front runner, as somebody who's gonna be in top four, who's gonna who could win drag race. I don't, I don't see it. I know she's your drag, your favorite drag queen's favorite drag queen, but I I told y'all I'm gonna judge her very hard, and then she's not doing it for me. And then you have Malaysia. It was fine. It was a safe look. I didn't I didn't hate it. And Malaysia said, I never saw anything before. This is the first thing I ever made. And she said she took a class. I'm thinking, you didn't make nothing in that class. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe she downplayed her sewing skills to make it seem more impressive, which is not a bad strategy. But baby, don't get caught lying because these fans will come for you. We could go back to the top of the episode. Spice was saying, I don't think my sister deserved to go home. Like it's other girls in here who who des who deserve to be in the bottom over sugar or deserve to go home. And Mistress was stirring the pot, was like, ooh, name names. Who you think should go home? And, this, this, and Spice is like in the little in the little confession was like, I ain't that stupid to say who I'm talking about. But we all knew everybody who thought Aura should have been in the bottom last week. I want to say this about Mistress. I love Mistress's drag, but Mistress is a messy queen. Now, I know that drag queens, they read, they're catty. You know, that's part of the fun of drag queens. But also, let me tell you something about Houston drag queens. Tex well, Texas drag queens and just people in Texas in general. I'm sorry, Texans. Y'all know I always come for y'all. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I love you so much, but this is what I observe. People in Texas in general just have this thing about them where they just 
that I don't know if you would call it being shady, but they, they have a way of saying stuff that's just, why would you say that? Like, it might be the truth. It might be shady. There's not this Southern hospitality that you would get from somewhere like a Tennessee, a Georgia, um, an Alabama, a, a Mississippi, even Texas is very different from there's the south and then there's texas and then there's florida some parts of florida are the south texas is technically in the south but texas is its own thing and, and the queens just like its people they don't have this they're just a look they're just a little more rough around the edges i guess is the best way i could say it and mistress is feeling the, the the repercussions of that last week when she told set up there and told marcia that you weren't funny in the game and your look look your look is cheap it, it looks cheap what you wore on the runway mistress set up there and told that girl that she looked cheap and she wasn't funny and now all of marcia's fans is getting that girl's page banned i mean it was, it was, it, nothing about it was constructed. Everybody was like, well, it's just, you know, that's how the queens talk to each other. Yeah, but also it was rude. Like, there's reading and there's helping girls out and stuff. But then they're just like, like, who asked you? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I like Mrs. Drag, but baby, that mouth is going to get you in trouble. You could talk one way. You know, in the dressing rooms and at the clubs and stuff. But when you're on TV, when you're on Drag Race, I'm not saying watch your mouth, but I'm just saying you ain't in, you're not in the, uh, at the, you're not in the dressing room at the clubs. You're not having a kiki with your, with your girl. So I don't know what else you said on this season, but baby, anyways, keep doing you, mistress. I do see you going to the final four. Anyways, Lux, congratulations. Sorry, Amethyst, you, you left. I don't, I can't say too soon. I wish we could have seen more of you, um, especially after you did so good last week. Yeah, so that's all I have to say about this week's episode of Drag Race. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to be a top four or who you think is even going to win. We still got a lot of queens to get through. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, come follow me on all of my other social media, and I will catch you in the next video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, bye. That's the